Friday night baseball now from Fenway Park here in Boston. Tonight the homestand continues with the start of a four game series between the Baltimore Orioles and the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox try to lock down their 14th. Eduardo Rodriguez gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Boy, this guy was unbelievably good in this last one. Struck out a ton of guys in an amazing performance, and all of his pitches were working. Let's hope he brings that A game back with him in this one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I mean, just a double digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball, then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. That second, the right fielder. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. That's popped up. And this will be taken by Pedroia for route number two. That is third. The second baseman, Jonathan VR. So bases are empty here with two gone. And the switch hitter, Jonathan VR, will be the next to bat. And a ball, 1-0. Just underway here at Fenway Park. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Bradley is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Andrew Kashner, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Andrew Kastner, big guy, big off. arm. You know, Red this has Sox. been, he's been the guy that the everybody's right wanted to get their hands Monkey. on. Big, he strong rocks. guy, 6'6", six, yeah. six, about 220 pounds, hard thrower, 95 to 97, good sink, good slider, decent changeup. He's yet to put it all together, but if he brings his A game, he could be awfully tough to hit. Betts, playing here in his age 26 season, he was a fifth round pick back in 2011. I know a lot of people weren't sure what this guy was going to become, but he has blossomed into one of the superstars in the game. What an absolute steal coming out of the middle rounds. Loud contact by Mookie and a ball carrying well to left field. Gone! Over the monster for a home run. Baseball has really changed. Remember when leadoff guys were guys who would just draw walks and steal bases? That but that's not the, the case anymore. Baseman. Guys like this, they have pop on their bat, and they can go deep. Now another one hit deep to left. Mancini racing back, and it's gone into the monster seats. A solo home run off the bat of Dustin Pedroia. Home run number 15 for him thus far. That and that gives the Red Sox a 2 to nothing lead. Jackie. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Jackie. As he can't make contact Junior. and is tied up here at strike one. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The wind up and the 0-1. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. No outs, nobody on. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Here's J.D. Martinez. The dedicated hitter. J.D. First pitch on its way. He did. Rounded weakly to the left. He's got a hurry. Throw on to first. Two gone. Batting fifth. No left fielder. Andrew. 
Now with the play, Andrew Benintendi. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Here's the first pitch to him. Drilled to first. Combo right there. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Here's Mark Trumbo now, hitless in four we tries in the ball game yesterday. The hey, we're three. still in the early stages Mark. in this one. They're only Trumbo. down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. In there, 0 and 1. Hot shot to third and handled for the first down. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. His numbers against Eduardo Rodriguez. He comes in hitting right at a 300 clip. He's taken him deep once. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought us good stuff in this one. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And it's two up, two down That's to start good. the second. Well, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Strike one to start the at bat. One and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Count is one and two now. He wasn't fooling anybody with that fastball. He barreled it up nice right there. He's just got to find a way to keep it fair. Just hung in there on that one. The one two. Fouled off. Two out nobody on. He spoils another one and will do it again. And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two but he did and it's two and two now. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner but it bends just foul into the second deck and he fouls this one off. They've locked horns. Here's the next offering. Just missed with the 2 2 count, and it runs full now. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Leading off for the Red Sox. The shortstop. He's ready. Here's Xander. the first offering. And a swing and a miss at a pitch well off the plate. It's strike one. Hard on the ground towards short. And no chance there for Escobar. It's a base hit. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In there, now the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. So he's in safely following the stolen base, and running has been made a priority on this team here in the early going as we view the league leaderboard for team stolen bases. And in fact, that number is not yeah. only the highest in all the American League, but is actually the highest in all of baseball. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Hit hard on the ground to the right. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Batting it. The first base pitch. Here's Steve in. Pierce now. One run in and one in. gone so far this inning. First pitch on its way. Hard ground ball to third. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out both ambush tactics. 
first pitch good. fastball middle in. He's able to drive that for a nice single. And now Christian Vasquez. Pitch inside the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Breaking for third. Pitch is high. The throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Swing. High drive. Left field and deep. And this one is gone. A home run. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. Yeah, Matty V. Well, d -Row, you kind of expect it? a high-scoring right game here. with that green right monster here. here at the fence. Now, this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. comes the Baltimore skipper out of the dugout on his way to the mound and he's going to motion for his bullpen here that'll do it for the starter tonight so a less than Your stellar performance please. here tonight as he makes now the early exit the and forces that bullpen into Number action much one. earlier than anticipated David Hess is going to come on in relief now and he may be asked to eat several innings as this game is just still really getting underway. Dustin Pedroia is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball it's one and oh. Hot shot on the ground is short. Throw on to first will take care of Pedroia and there are two away. The batter, the center fielder, Jack Key. Into the box now, Jackie Bradley Jr. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Well hit the other way again. It's into the gap. Bradley with wheels headed for second. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. Hey, there's another base now knock right there. The hitting streak hitter. now up to eight, eight games. games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, eight Smart. games. Yeah, yeah, man, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get past that week, you just know you're locked he's in. He's going, he's going. They start talking eight games. Now you're like, all right, I got a nice now little hitting streak going. It's wide, and he's in there with the stolen base. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double. Then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it, Mullins. And that ends the inning. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Red Sox lead it six to nothing. And here's Renato Nunez. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down really six in the ball. early going. So what do they the need to do to claw back into Renato. this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. That pitch was right down the heart of the plate, but obviously this guy had made up his mind on the on-deck circle. He was taken all away, and he was going to zone him up. The 0-2 home fouled away into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch now we're swinging a miss as he picks up another one make it four strikeouts already and there's your first out ready now for Baltimore Austin wins as he'll get his first opportunity in this one and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield and he'll put this away for the second out. Striding in, that Cedric Mullins. And Dan, it seems fuel. like this starter Number is just three. dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains right. to be seen. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. 
And the Orioles have their first hit of the game. Turn and burn, baby. He smelled that heater that coming inside right there. Didn't do too much All damage with it, but was able to get the head out and drive it for a knock. Fastball in there for a called strike. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Takes this the other way to right. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, I'll after back-to-back -back two out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on the board. And Mookie will make the play, and that retires the side. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked with manager Alex Cora during the break about his thoughts on the Red Sox hitters to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said they're doing an excellent job Leading with pitch off. selection, the meaning Red they're Sox. swinging at the right pitches no and doing order. damage with them. Andrew. The numbers back ben that up. Ben Five Andy. extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. On to first is Escobar, one away. Digging in for his second at bat, Xander Bogarts. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. You know who's the happiest man in the building right now? His starting pitcher. He's got a big old smile on his face. He knows he has a 6-1 lead here in the early going to work with. You can't let that take away your edge, though. He's set and the pitch. Bogarts takes off. Strike taken to throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Well, some may say that's a questionable steal with such a big lead, but to me, it's still too early to worry about disrespecting the other team. I've seen leads like this disappear, so they're going to keep trying to pile on. He's going. Oh, one, here's the pitch. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. The 1-1. One, one. Lifted down the line and left. The catch is made near the line and left. Tagging the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. The first baseman. Now in the box, Steve Pierce. He reached on a single in his first try. First offering on its way. The short hit hard. Well, he has some trouble with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Well, I think he took it for granted there a bit. Probably thought he had it in the bag, and he just lost concentration for a minute. Now his pitcher has to pick him up with two outs. Into the box now, Christian Vasquez. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And it bangs off the monster. Oh, and it falls as he can't make the play. And he will score now from first. And the throwing mistake there getting the ball in is going to wind now up costing him. Right fielder. Boy, this guy's Monkey. having a great game here so Bad. far, D-Row. Home run earlier in the night. And that base hit right there drives in his third run that in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point Bad. with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. Oh, and he's into third safely with the stolen base. The 0-1 hit to third. Throw on to first and a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage. At the plate, Jonathan Villar. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The second base 0 and 1 the count. Villar. The 0-1 pitch. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2.
on. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 2. The lineup top to bottom looks like they have no approach or game plan whatsoever. It's like they're deciding to swing before the pitch is even coming out of the pitcher's hand. Bogarts to his left. He's there on to first, and there are two down. In now for the O's, Trey Mancini. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. High in the air out towards shallow right. Betts has a read on it, and that retires the side. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. A hit in two tries for him so far. The second baseman. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh my! This ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? Gone over the monster and out onto Lansdowne Street. So a solo shot here to left center field is second of the game as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. in now Jackie Bradley Jr. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field but that'll be off the wall in right center he hit the corner and tries for third and he's safe you'll see right there that this is a shot to right center and the fielder can't cut it off he was churning those legs on the base pass making it the third with a triple into the box, J.D. Martinez. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Now batting, left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Settling in now, Andrew Benintendi. Couple of ground outs on his batting line in two trips so far. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball here, 0-1. Oh and two the count to Ben Intendi. Still only one out in the inning. Left side. Escobar backhands it deep in the hole. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Boy, after that base knock right there, no Debo, he extends his hitting streak to Short seven stop. games. Yeah, and you can Denver. tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Runner, runner, runner. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out, and he's having a hard time doing that. So, as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably runner, not as yet. focused on controlling the running game as he should be. Pitch outside. The throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. The 1-1 home. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made. And here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. Boy, this one looked third like base. it was headed for extra bases oh off the bat. Instead, Never. a line drive bullet caught in the alley. But he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. Standing in now, Rafael Devers. And he goes the other way with it. High and deep down the left field line. It bangs off the billboard, and it's out of here. The first baseman, number 25. In now, Steve Dean. Pierce. As he'll reach unsuccessfully at a slider away, it's strike one. 
one for two in the ball game thus far. Hard hit ball to short. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. The throw into second, and he'll get in there safely. So some real problems out there at that time as it'll wind up in E7. Next up for the Red Sox, Christian Vasquez. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Hard liner to center field. Mullins there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. So four runs in the inning and they come on the strength of the two big flies. We played four full. It's the Red Sox. Back now at Fenway Park and here's Heidi Watney with a report. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. All right, thanks, Heidi. Leading off for the Orioles. Striding forward now is the DH. DJ Stewart comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The batter, the third baseman, Renato Nunez. Now at the plate, Renato Nunez looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Nunez, a six-foot one-inch right-handed swinger and thrower. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone. And when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket of sassy. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The batter, the catcher. That's out to left. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, Leading one off. of the terrific the talents in the game, Mookie Betts. The right fielder, Mookie. Pitch taken several yeah. inches below the zone, in fact. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one. But the funny thing is, he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. One and one to count. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hit high and deep to right center. Mullins will back up and put this away for a long batter, out number, number one. Second baseman. Striding in for Boston, Dustin Pedroia. He's coming off a solo hunter in his previous trip. No balls in one strike. 0-1 oh, count and the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Digging in once again, Jackie Bradley Jr. Bats here with a double and a triple on his line in this one. Line shot to second, but it's caught, and the side is retired. Stepping up to the plate, Cedric Mullins. He'll start things out in the, the sixth Orioles. for a lineup that really field. hasn't found its Number groove three. in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. line towards center field and a base hit so the leadoff man is aboard 
definitely tried to elevate the heater right there with two strikes, but caught way too much of the plate. Nice execution by the hitter. Escobar. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there, strike one. No runs, three hits, and two Baltimore errors thus far. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. He's set, and the one two pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now batting. Swing and a line drive. And that's in there. Base hit. The batter number two. Now batting, Jonathan Villar. Over two for him to this point. Popped him up. And no one will track it down. I'm set with the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. The guy on the mound must have a different scouting report than we have right here. This looks like a beautiful situation for a double play right here, but he continues to pound up in the zone. Bradley comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Now batting. The first so now the Oriole cleanup Mark. hitter, Mark Trumbo. A line out and a ground ball for an out on his line so far. And a fastball mm, just misses. It's one and one. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Another 2-2 offering. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Oriole. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, J.D. Martinez. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. And the off-balance throw will be too late, so a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. Dan, now after that base hit right there, no we're talking about here. two full Andrew. weeks of Bennett finding a way to be productive and get a knock. Good think about that. You think how hard it is to get a base hit in a, in a professional baseball game, and for him to be able to do it 14 consecutive days in a row as a pitcher, you have to just tip your cap to this guy. First pitch of the at-bat. Runner goes for second. Pitch outside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. And now the runner's trying for third. Strike called. Now the throw down. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Mancini on the move. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from no third is Number in to two. score. Zander. Striding into the box, Xander Bogarts. Faces empty and one away following the sack fly. In there, and it's 0-1. Oh, Clean slate on the base pass after that sack fly a minute ago, so now's the time to be aggressive with these hitters. Go right after them and try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. Under it, VR, and there are two away now. Now that That's exactly the what they wanted man. out of that pitch up oh, in the yeah. zone. They took him up the Never. ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Into the box now, Rafael Devers. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Popped up. Nunez waits on it and that ends the inning. So one run here on one hit no.
Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Now the pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Waiting on it is Benintendi. One away. Now batting. Number 24. Next will be the designated hitter, DJ Stewart. He was a ground out victim last time up. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes, how about over 90%? That's about as good as it gets. Got him swinging on the fastball there. DJ Stewart goes down for now out back. number two Third in the pitch. top half. Fouled away. Yeah. When that thing goes whistling into the stands, you hope someone brought their glove and is able to get leather on it. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Tanner Scott enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Tanner. At the plate, Go. Steve Pierce will try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Here comes the 0-1. And yeah, there's a base hit on the line. Throw into second. The tag, and he is out at second. Now batting. Into the box now. Christian Vasquez. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Here's the first pitch to him. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. One out, nobody on. This is lying to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. Now batter. Dan right with that fielding. single, he's now three okay. quarters of the way to hitting for the cycle. Cut this one still on the shelf, though. He's got to get a triple. Yeah, that you said it, Dio. That's one of those that's either got to hit right down the line or one of those tweeners in the gap. He has enough speed so he can fight. Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. 0-1 count and the pitch. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Not looking good after being down 0-2. I think at the very least, you got to work this pitcher's count a little bit. Try and get back into a decent count where maybe you can come through. The 0-2 delivery. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. On to Lansdowne and gone. Two runs on the board after the home run by Mookie Betts. His third home run of the ball game as they just continue to pour it on here. Well, you have a great night in hockey. You score three goals and that's a hat trick, but how about hitting 15. three home runs in Second one eight, night? Man. That's the baseball that's equivalent of a hat trick. Oh, and it's all really right. hard to do. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Mancini is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away oh, for the for second the right out. Side. He got that Still one pretty fielder. good. It just Jackie. didn't have the right launch right. angle to carry over the Junior. outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Into the box, Jackie Bradley Jr. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. I almost can't believe I'm saying this, but that was the eighth home run of the game for these guys. How about this offensive performance? 
Look yeah, man, but you don't see this very often, Hero, when it's cold and chilly like this. Wind blowing in a little bit, but we're still seeing a lot of home runs. Yeah, Dan, I can't explain it. Let's just tip our hats to both offenses right now because they came to play. Moving traffic against this. Now that but ball is smoked. Carrying the deep left. And it's Mark off the green Peter. monster. Sometimes when a reliever comes in the game, he wants to get that first strike so bad now that batting. he serves one up, and that's exactly Andrew. what happens here. The batting. first battery he faces just rockets one off the wall, and now he's got to worry about another base hit, runner, runner, potentially runner. bringing home a run. In there, now the throw is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Pretty unusual decision to swipe third with two outs in the inning. It's a big risk, especially with the lefty hitter up there, and the benefit isn't all that great, but he made it work out. Three runs already home here. Zero. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. A little roller toward the hole. Trumbo is up with it. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Standing in, Austin wins. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Now the pitch. It's the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about so every at bat. Number and when three. that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Cedric Mullins is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing and one. Oh, man. He's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. That's it to short. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Eight in a row he set down, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Still 16 nothing. Digging in now, Xander Bogarts. He got Lady under dog. one and popped Four out his Red last dog. time up. First dog. pitch on its way. Xander. This Red is dog. line to left. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. Now back. The first taking in. Rafael oh, Devers. Yeah. He was retired yeah, after yeah. popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Popped him up. Escobar shading to his right, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The first base pick. Into the box. Steve Pierce, three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. Mancini retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox as it remains a 16 to nothing ball game. That'll bring in Joey Rickard starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. A ball and two strikes. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And he should be okay to go the distance here. He's just now about to hit 100 pitches for the ball game. 
Yeah, it's go time, Matty B. He's got a chance to close this one out. He knows the bullpen's rested and ready to go. He's got a smile on his face out there. Oh, d -Row, this is what every manager loves. One day where you cannot have to empty out everybody in that bullpen. Going into the ninth inning in today's game with your starting pitcher, you can't ask for more than he's given them up to this point. On to first, and the Orioles are down to their final out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Mark Trumbo. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. The 1-1 home. And it's fouled away. A crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. 16 to nothing the final tonight. The Boston Red Sox jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Time of the ball game. Four hours and 18 minutes.